one thing is definitely for certain. That's the fact that Sony truly unleashed Carnage on Hollywood because the box office take for Venom Let There Be Carnage is astronomical, all things considered. And now as we get more details and the uh, bigger, more clearer picture starts to be painted, we see that Venom Let There Be Carnage has dethroned Black Widow as the biggest hit of the pandemic era and the biggest opening of the era. So opening with north of 90 million for Venom Let There Be Carnage has officially put it on top of Black Widow, meaning it surpassed Black Widow's opening, which still held before Venom Let There Be Carnage the record for the biggest during the era since the shutdowns. Now this quite clearly is huge for Venom, but there are a few factors that go into this that obviously I am going to address, and it has to be addressed because you can't spin the news in one way and pretending that's the only thing we know that black widow would have made more had it not released on disney plus as well hence why the disney plus factor is not brought into this because that's not a fair comparison but also venom being able to surpass black widow has to be put into a sort of scenario where there's an asterisk as well because again the disney plus factor but regardless of how you look at it this film has demolished Black Widow's box office opening, which can only be a good sign for Sony at least, or actually probably even Marvel as well, because now they got their hands on Venom. But if you look at it, Venom making more than 10 million over Black Widow's opening is pretty impressive. And quite clearly, people like Carnage were hungry. They wanted a piece of Venom, they went out and they got it. And we saw that the buildup towards the anticipation for this film was somewhat under the radar compared to other things. But again, I think people just waited to hear what the film was going to be like. And if it's more like the first and you enjoy the first, well, you're showing up. And then, of course, once everybody started to find out this is now an MCU film for all, uh, you know, intensive purposes, you know, it, it, the word of mouth, the hype, everything, I think, contributed to this. And quite clearly, this thing being as big as it is is something that Sony is going to be very reactionary to because they were worried, as we found out. Everybody was. I mean, they weren't even committed to a Venom 3 because they thought this thing might fail. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens next and how the box office obviously holds up during the course of the next couple of weeks because we could have that record drop repeat or we could have a, wow, this thing sustained like Shang-Chi. I guess we'll know in a week's time.